Home showing and open house tips. Let's go through a few. My name is Sean Larson, real estate broker, and we're gonna talk about some uh, some tips to help get your home ready to sell and uh, for open houses. Now, this is going to be a little bit for sellers and buyers because home buyers a lot of times are also sellers, either at the same time or they're going to sell in the near future. So this video is a little bit for both, uh, but it's coming from the perspective of a seller. So it, we prep people so well to list their home. I, this is just scratching the surface of what we go through in terms of home prep. But when you prep that home for showings, you want it to present as best you can. And the first thing that you can do for that is when showings occur, have all the lights on on your home. Every home, I don't care what home it is, looks better fully bright. So each day, and again, you're going to do a lot of this prep each day because if, if you're working or away from the home, you don't want to have to run back home every time. And showings can occur anytime, you know, because they, they can be scheduled during the day and they might, you know, be two hours from now and you don't have time to go back, but you still want your home to present the best. So you're going to want all the lights on and yep, that includes all the little lamps. And I'm not saying it's fun, but it works. <laughs> so have all the lights on, all the little lamps on. So when buyers walk in your home, it just presents so well. It automatically feels like home to them. And so uh, you're going to want to do that. I know you'll burn a little bit of electricity during the home showing times, but that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Go ahead and get them on. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do, and again, this is for home showings and open houses. Uh, uh, agents come through there. They're going to have some clients with them. It is a client relationship. They probably have not known these people all their lives. Uh, with open houses, you're going to have people coming in that the agents might not know at all. So that leads me to no matter how good of an area you may be in, go ahead and secure your belongings in your home. You're going to have people touring. You're not going to want anything to accidentally go missing. And this includes or maybe uh, is emphasized for things that are smaller that uh, could easily be slipped in a pocket. And this is something that a lot of people don't think about. That includes things like medications. So if you have a cabinet, medicine cabinet, or you have them in drawers in your bathroom vanities or something like that, I would suggest going ahead and securing those too. And that will kind of be for the duration of selling. So you wouldn't have to do that like each showing time or each open house. Just go ahead and get in a pattern of, of maybe tucking those away and having a new go-to place for those instead of your cabinet or your drawer. Maybe you're tucking away those, maybe even a locked position. So go ahead and secure everything. Uh, next thing is going to be pets. That's a big one. Ideally, pets should be gone from a home. Uh, not only the pets, but all of their accessories as well. And it could be that your home is the freshest smelling home ever, but if people see signs of pets, they're going to imagine that they smell pets. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes you clearly smell the pet. You're gonna probably have more feedback on cats than dogs, but uh, nonetheless, I would have pets and all their accessories gone if possible. Uh, that can be a little inconvenient because if you do have a showing pop up in the middle of the day and you have to pop back home and pick up the pets and take them out for a couple hours, yeah, that's inconvenient for sure. <laughs> but I'm just giving you the tip. <laughs> it's best. <laughs> so go ahead and do that if possible. Uh, the next thing, uh, when you tidy up your home for the day or for showings, specifically pay attention to the bathrooms in the house. Get those as tidy as you can because bathrooms have a way of picking up a lot of clutter. And it doesn't matter about the countertops, the showers, or whatever it is. You want that stuff to look as close to a model home as you can. So if you've got about 10 bottles of stuff in your shower, go ahead and clear all of that out. Take the squeegee down, take the soap out. And so what I recommend to people is have a small basket in every bathroom. And then each day, go ahead and put everything back in that basket and you can just slide it under your vanity. And I'm not talking about your, your valuables that we talked about a minute ago, but just your bottles, your soaps and things like that. Your counter should be cleared completely. Yep. Yeah, that too. The decoration thing you love, yeah, get it gone. Uh, and that actually applies to kitchens too, but that's a whole other topic. <laughs> but yeah, have your bathroom nice and tidy, toilet seat down, shower all cleared. You want people to imagine they're living there. And so the more stuff you have on the counters and in the shower and everything, it's reminders that somebody else lives there. And so go ahead and clear all of that stuff out. Uh, also tidying up, no laundry, no dishes in the sink, don't have laundry laying around, and uh, don't have dishes in the sink. And by not in the sink, I don't mean take them out of the sink and shove them in the dishwasher and hit the start button. 
because you won't want sounds in the home aside from maybe light music or something like that, which again is another topic. I'm telling you, I've got a long list of stuff to prep sellers. <laughs> but you don't want dishwashers running. You don't want clothes washers running and things like that as people come through. And I say all this because after you see enough homes, you experience this stuff. So while some of it seems logical, it happens. So I'm trying to prep people on what not to do to make the, the best presentation in there. Uh, all right, we're coming to a big one here. You ready? Candles and air fresheners. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> now, I know everybody wants, oh, it's pretty, it looks great, it smells great. Well, it might to you. Um, have you ever been around somebody that had too much perfume or too much cologne or something like that? And it's great when you like the scent, but it's, uh, it's not when you don't. That's how candles and air fresheners are gonna come across. You might have that favorite lavender candle or air freshener that you just love. It reminds you of being at the spa. Okay, the buyer that comes in might absolutely not like the lavender. I have seen it where buyers have walked into a home, picked up the scent, right back out the door. They didn't even look at the home. So while, while sellers may think they're helping, a lot of times, in fact, most of the times, they're not. So uh, I, I would not suggest candles, not only from the fire hazard of leaving them lit, but don't, don't do it. Air fresheners, same thing. Uh, you're also going to spark the imagination of buyers. They think you're covering something. And you might be, I don't know. You might be trying to cover that pet smell from the pets that you <laughs> took away with you about an hour ago. Uh, so don't do them. And uh, I know probably a lot of people, even after this advice, uh, you're gonna do it. So <laughs> we're gonna go with some more advice. If you cannot stand it and you absolutely have to freshen the air some way because it is just in your nature to do it, do not pick anything other than a scent that is in the cotton or the linen family. Don't go into the florals. I'm telling you, it's going to backfire on you. Somebody is not going to like that scent. Their imagination's going to kick in. They're gonna think the scent has infiltrated all your carpet and everything in the home. And uh, imaginations are powerful things. So I would stay away from anything strong like that. I personally would stay away from all of them, but I know some people will uh, go against the advice and still have to do it. So stay in the cotton and the linen range. Most uh, scent manufacturers are gonna have something like that. So keep it very, very simple, um, preferably not at all, <laughs> but go, go, go with what you want to there. So uh, again, my name is Sean Larson, real estate broker. Uh, that is just a little bit of how we prep sellers. We have an extensive list on, to make sure their homes get sold. And like I say, uh, buyers, uh, a lot of you are selling as well. So this information is, is like gold for you too. So if I can help out with anything real estate related, please reach out and I'll take great care of you. Thanks so much. Have a super day.